What a mess. Fucking creepers. Hello and welcome proper to Let's Play Minecraft 1.8.1. 1. Um, it's a new dawn, a new day, and I'm feeling good. Though I'm sure there are an abundance of creepers just waiting to rush out of the nowhere to kill me. Give me this day my daily sugar. That is my sugar farming done. So that I can, I don't know, make cakes in the future. Or a library. The Nexus could do with a library. As you can see, the Endermen have started picking bits of my house off, but they haven't put me in any danger yet, so they can just go ahead and do that for all I care. Oops. That iron's valuable. We don't want to leave with that. I'm running low on food, so you might have to see me go on a killing spree during this video. As you can see, I did a wee bit more building to my nexus after the creeper blew a chunk of it up. So I fixed that. Some very un-nexus-y doors, but maybe when I... I can make some iron doors that might look a little bit more proper. <laughs> I was punching the wall there to simulate the lever that you need to open it. I still need to trap some water in the middle of this grass to get the sort of crystally effect. That's the uh, grass glass. That's the best I've managed to come up with so far. Maybe if I can get some glowstone or something I can do that. Make a yellow themed nexus or something. Here is the big proper crystal on the top. Only half of it so far. I've not got enough glass to do the top half. I'm filling that with water and hopefully it should glow nicely at night. Again, maybe putting some glowstone in there once I have some will make it look nicer. I think it's looking impressive. It's got two out of eight protrusions. Um, the inside is obviously very spartan. There's like nothing in here yet. Let's see, there's a nice set of patterns going on. Let's try to light up the top bits a wee bit. So this is going to be the nexus, no pun intended of my room. This will be one big room filled with as many cool things as I can think of and then there will be tunnels going underground leading to other things. Ideally I would just have a billion lapis lazuli so I could make the whole floor and tunnel system out of lapis lazuli blocks but that's a bit wishful thinking. And uh, I've made a rudimentary staircase for this pit because I fell down it a dozen times when building this thing. But anyway, the big exciting thing we got last episode is the map. So, allow me to just get a wee something. I am going to get, do I have any wool blocks? I should do. Wool, one, two, three. I'm going to make another bed because I'm going to try and turn the strip into a sleeping area so that I don't have to run to and fro all day. If I have lots of sleeping areas throughout, I can travel the world with impunity. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide for diamonds and failing to get out my own front door. Eventually this relief hut will be demolished when the nexus is completed in all its glory and is a place that I live. Very fun. I no longer need my trail of breadcrumbs, but it's still nice to have. Onwards to the flat desert. Though it's not really much of a desert because there's a huge amount of water there, as you can see. It's right next to a swamp, so I don't know if that even makes it a beach. It's just a sort of thing, really. So my food is low and I'm getting hungry, so if you spot any creatures nearby... <laughs> What do you mean if you spot any creatures nearby? I'm pre-recording this. It's not like you're going to be able to shout back in time. Should have brought some stone. Make a furnace in the strip. Not that... Yeah, I can just mine some stone in the strip. It'll be lovely. And I might get exploring open coal away at some point. But I've got plenty to explore. Back at home. In that lava pit we hadn't seen everything that there was. No, sheep don't drop lamb, do they? It would be nice if they did, because lamb is lovely. Pig! I don't like pork as much as I like beef, but there's a good source of beef. But you, die! And provide me with meat. Die! 
bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah! Ooh, that's quite a bit. I'm happy with that. Ooh. Damn you, pigu! <laughs> Lovely. Those naked sheep are still here. It's crazy. You'd think they'd have despawned after so many days. So we are now back at the flat desert, upon the edge of what I know. I'd like to ex. Is that stone or gravel? I can't tell from here. Now this is 100% pure stone, a nice stone floor. Interesting, I wonder if there's anything just beneath the surface. No, though I am sneakily getting enough stone for a forge. Haha! -ha! There's a shikan. Swimming as shikans are known to do. Look back at my lovely map that took me so long to get, which I'm now getting all wet. Character's got quite an appetite on him, I swear he never used to get this hungry this quickly. La 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 la. Now let's find the strip. It's quite near the beginning of the flat desert. There it is. It's going to have a very sort of humble signpost, is the strip. The strip. Fuck yeah. So down we go. It's a very exclusive community. They don't announce themselves very much. Save for one tiny little sign. So. There's my land. My land. It belongs to nobody else. Ta -da 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 -da. Na -na -na. So I'll be interested to see if I can actually sleep here. Or if I'll just get horrendously attacked if I try. Crafting table! Furnace! Yeah, this is the safest sleeping room I could possibly think of. In fact, sort of fortify it a little bit. Yep. What genius is this? Hopefully. I don't know if that will cause me any trouble. We'll see at some point. So I'll plunk my bed down here. And when it gets dark, we will attempt to sleep. I don't have anything truly valuable on me except the map, which is actually made of some fairly expensive components. But I'll just put the map in the chest before I go to sleep. Genius. Yep. So let's leave the strip, which will one day be a mighty town populated only by me, because the Minecraft world is tragic like that. I kind of want to light up this area a bit, but I probably can't get too deeply into it without falling to my death, so upwards and onwards! Let's have another look at that swamp. Yeah, they didn't get very deeply into it last time, and judging by the position of the sun, I'm not going to get very deeply into it now. Hmm. Wait. That doesn't look very swampy. Must be up here. Yeah, there we go. Right in front of me, in fact. We will just delve a wee bit. Ooh, a mushroom. I like mushrooms. Oh, I forgot to bring some shears to see if these things are gettable. They do look very cool either way. So into new territory we go, and I see a cow. And with it, delicious, delicious dinner. Yeah. Dinner. It 
It's like dinner, only more dramatic and half shouted because there are people sleeping in the house. Three year old people. Can't afford to wake. Ooh! That's got a very lost island look to it. I want to go check that out tomorrow. Though it's right by the edge of my map, just making my map completely useless. Let, let's just go back now. Sorry for that boring mini excursion, but we're going to go back and test out the new bed, see if it works. Hmm, do I have enough meat to cook? Yes, I do, but I have nary a chunk of coal upon me. There'll surely be a bit I can grab in the strip. Sounds like some sort of sleazy bar. Are you going to the strip tonight? Oh, heavens, I can barely see. I bet now I don't actually find the opening. And I just get lost in this flat desert and killed by a swarm of endermen. Speaking of the endermen, I have discovered via Twitter that I'm not subscribed to and I don't own an account of that Notch has... Can I get in? There we go. Notch has said that the Endermen are supposed to come... Well, their backstory, their lore, is that they come from the Farlands. Now, if you don't know what the Farlands are, they, or is, they are, or is, something that terrifies me to my core. Be oh! That's a skeleton. That sort of doesn't entirely bode well for this being a place to sleep. Yep! Raid of the Lost Ark style, baby! Yeah, he's kind of got a clear shot at me, hasn't he? It's time to build a kind of roof. Sort of. If I can. Yeah, there's no way this isn't a good idea. Well, folks, right, the valuable can go in there. Good night! I can't believe that actually worked. Is the skeleton still out there? Yep. He's still ready to say hello. So, um, guess he was just watching me sleep. I'm fine with that. Uh, this looks ugly. There, that's kind of a terracey sort of thing. Though, if we just, <laughs> sorry, people. Getting all obsessive -y. There. That's got a sort of symmetry to it that I can get behind. So let's grab the map again. And make the morning jog past the shooting skeleton. Oof. Right in the eye. Well done, sir. Ooh. Right in the chest. Well done, sir. And you are a fool. Luckily, I'm nice and full, so my morning wounds will heal. What a routine that is. I think I've gone right past my, um... Oh, balls. There we go. Where was the way back up? Here, I do believe. Yes. It's not a very well-tamed land, the strip. But it's a fantastic place to get a night's kip. So anyway, as I was saying, the Far Lands are a glitch land, you see. As you know, the world is sort of randomly procedurally generated. Was that a creeper? Yes, it was. So, the world is randomly procedurally generated, but the e the algorithm that Notch used to sort of calculate the generation is not perfect. And though he could easily fix it now, he thinks the Firelands is cool, so he's not going to fix it. And the idea of the Firelands is the Minecraft world has a theoretical maximum distance of eight times the surface area of the Earth, or one quarter the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which is quite big. But in practice, the distance is not nearly quite so big, because after you get a few thousand miles, I don't know however many, but I do know that if you were to walk forward unimpeded, if you could just walk forward with no obstacles, it would take about 80 hours to get to the Farlands, and once you got there, you would find just a completely whacked out land where the 
generation of it has just gone crazy and there's just this wall from bedrock all the way to sky of this sort of unnatural Swiss cheese looking land formation and it's very laggy there and monsters spawn at a ridiculous rate like there'll always be billions on the screen every second well not billions but dozens and so yes, it's very laggy and weird, and the land just looks horrible and un unnatural. And if you actually manage to navigate your way through it, as you go deeper and deeper in, um, eventually light will stop working. So it will just be completely pitch black even during the day. And yes, I am going to have to dive into this blackness to get a bit of beef, because I'm that sort of person. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, it will eventually be completely black even during the day. This looks like a place I can explore later. So completely black during the day and you need mods basically to explore the land further if exploring is your thing. And eventually if you go even further, if your computer can put up with the insane lag, it starts to warp and distort horribly and the square blocks that we come to know and love aren't square anymore. They become ever so subtly wider or taller or skewed at an angle and it just makes the whole world look messed up as this effect stacks and stacks and stacks and eventually the laws of physics stop applying and your computer just bursts into flames but that's the far lands and they are incredibly creepy i have a thing for well not a thing for a thing against glitches i really hate them i'm scared of them have been ever since missing now and um yeah, this isn't on my Mac, but I really want to go explore over there. It looks like a cool little island. Fuck it, let's go off the edge of the map. But Yeah, so it's this horrible world. Is that clay? I think that is. So it's this... Yes, it is. <sighs> so distracted. It is this horrible world, and Notch has decided to have it be the backstory that the Endermen come from there. Which, two things. That, for my crazy mind, makes the Endermen even more creepy. And another thing those poor bastards have travelled a very, 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 very long way just to die at sunrise. That is a raw deal if ever I heard one. So, glob. Oh, I must have got... Oh, more clay. Delicious clay. Oh. I wonder. No. Oh. <laughs> what I could do with this clay. The super futuristic Protoss Nexus could always do with a traditional fireplace, I suppose. <laughs> this sandy island of doom. Am I off the map yet? Yep, well and truly. Which means I'm going to get lost and die. <laughs> and sink like a stone. Is this like a desert forest? What's going on here? Oh no, it's a forest forest right next to a desert. Because that's realistic. I suppose I can get some wood while I'm here. <laughs> Multitasking. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, it's a proper pine tree. That's nice. I like pine trees. Might have to build something here one day. Oh, no you don't, you son of a bitch. Yeah. If I collect shrubs from this, will it grow pine trees? Because that's something I'd be very interested in. It doesn't seem to be dropping shrubbery. No, okay. Let's explore this place a bit further. Better start putting breadcrumbs down, we know what I'm like. <laughs> we know what I'm like with forests. I refer you to episode two. See a series? Oh, that's a cute little tree. Yeah. Hmm. I have to wonder if this is properly interesting. I suppose me getting lost and dying during the night, which is an inevitability would be interesting. No, 
I'm about 20 minutes into this video. Let's spend the last 10 doing some cool exploring. I will see you in just a moment. Well, this isn't what I meant by cool exploring. I was actually talking about dungeon crawling, but... Whoops. This is a fun little discovery, all the same. May as well join in. Okay, this is a touch more like what I had in mind. If you... Whoa, this just seems like a suicidally dangerous idea. Right, there we go. If you recall last video when I was exploring here, I noticed a wee bit of mist in the distance. I think that mist requires some definite exploring. Hello there, my creeper friend. You are quite interesting, aren't you? You know, this situation, this very specific situation right here reminds me I need to make a bow and arrow at some point. Oh, oh what a shame. Couldn't save that bit of dirt. Yes, a bow and arrow is something I'm definitely going to have to work on. So that awkward situations like this can be resolved with the simple shot of a bolt. I could have also just brought a bucket of water and turned all of this into obsidian, but there's no spirit of adventure in that, really, is there? This is clearly the more exciting option to try and make a bridge over lava. In, a, in essence, it's really what video games are all about. I don't think you can pose a threat to me from your current location. Before I do this, do I have anything valuable that I really can't afford to lose? No, not really. Everything here except the dirt is renewable, and dirt, while not renewable, is about as common as dirt, so we should be okay there. I will obviously turn all of this into obsidian at some point to be mined, but in mind, I'm in no rush to get some yet rather keep this cool lava pool for now. Especially as it's one of the few lava pools I've found so far. It's not like this map has an abundance of lava. Ooh! Jesus! No, 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 no. Oh, wow. Whew. Just falling from the sky, man. Alright, you. Got no patience for your special brand of bullshit. There we go. Torches at the ready. In fact, let's again get the torches closer to my sword. Ooh, here we go. This is looking cool. Just as I say it's looking cool, my computer fan increases speed, as if to say, no, it's actually rather hot. I can hear creatures. Yeah, let's explore up here. And by explore, I mean light up so things stop falling on me. Suicide bomber style. Because that's how suicide bombers operate, by the way, in real life. They just sort of fall out of the sky. Check the news, it's how it happens. So, um... Yeah, let's light this craziness up. So that is where the creeper... Or did the creeper fall from somewhere like here? Hello there. Fwa! Fwa! Silly fool, you can't do anything. Well, this is very cool. I've uncovered a sort of multi layered death trap. I can so see myself getting lost. I should have brought some signs. Should have brought some signs. Uh, these 64 torches that I brought are just not going to last, are they? Oh my god, how high does this go to? Ugh, too much to explore. Eh. At least I know if I get attacked by here, I'm not going... Attacked here, I'm not going to fall into lava. It's pretty safe. Oh, if you haven't noticed, 
I'm wearing a pimp in leather vest. Okay. Oh, that worked out quite well. Sort of accidental stare. Oh, I see something up there. That is a creeper, but it can't get at me. Can't get... Alright, it can get at me. But it can't get at me. So let's keep lighting it up. Lighting it up. This is just insane. I'm not even... <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> this is just insane. I'm not even bothered about all the iron and stuff. I will, in fact, prefer to come back when this place is more proper lit up so that things like that creeper fiasco don't happen. Although, knowing my looks, they probably will still happen. I've just uncovered... God, I don't even know what I've uncovered. I've just plunked a stupid little relief hut down any old place, and it appear to have built it on top of a cavern of death. I mean, the strip was more visually impressive at first glance, but in terms of just pure cavern of deathness, this takes the cake, and I'm not having much luck with these creepers today, am I? I better not harm my precious iron deposits. Okay, this is a uh, sort of dead end, so I might be cheeky and even dare to mine this. Yes. Dare to mine this. Should have brought a bucket of water with me. I'm now feeling very uneasy about the fact that I didn't bring a bucket of water in order to put myself out. Especially now that you can't just insta eat food to get your health back. If I set on fire, that's going to be it. And I didn't bring an iron pick in case I brought anything interesting, but. Hmm. This whole, this whole business was about exploration, not mining. I can just come back and mine things in a well-lit cavern when I'm not filming. Because honestly, this isn't as interesting as discovery, really, is it? It is for me, because I'm getting lots of lovely, lovely iron. But for you, you kind people, or rather, you kind person, you kind, wonderful person whom I love very much, you know who you are. For you this isn't as good as it could be. So let's start exploring more of the darkness and boy howdy is there a lot of it. Far too much for my meagre torch count to handle. And there are so many different directions. This is insane. Creepor. Ha! Bet you feel pretty stupid now, don't you? There's not learning, and then there's doing what he just did. Is that daylight, or is that something I previously lit? How big is this place? This is insane. This is insane. It's just fucking... Ha! You died. Bit petty of me, really, isn't it? To laugh at someone's death. Well, he'd do the same to me. Let's go see what that is, and then I'll end the video because I've sort of run out of torches and I'm going to have to figure out my way back home. But as a treat to you people, I'm not going to stop playing after I stop filming, so the next episode will end with me desperately trying to get out of here and no doubt just getting completely lost. Oh, it's a tiny little lava pit, and there's a creeper. So, yes. I will, uh... End the video here while I look upon... an endless... world of... fear. See you next time.